Alright, hi everyone. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at The Last Guardian Collector's Edition. This is a game that I've been wanting to play for a great many years now, and I actually got this on Christmas Day, but I have not had a chance to play it at all, mainly thanks to uh, university examinations and university examinations, so yeah. And in fact, I've not actually opened this up and had a look at it yet. Um, literally before I started filming, I just cut the seal on the side purely because it was uh, quite a tricky one. But otherwise, I've not taken this out of the box yet, and I've not played the game yet, so here we go, let's take a look. Um, the packaging of the box, it's, well, it's, um, it's exactly what it looks like, there's nothing really else to talk about. It has like a, it's kind of embossed on here, The Last Guardian, there's sort of like some leverage to the letters here, so yeah, it feels nice when you rub your fingers over it. And the same down here as well, The Last Guardian Collector's Edition. Uh, the rest of the box is, it's just your, basically what you expect on a collector's edition like this, nothing, nothing really too different in this case, just screenshots and what's actually inside the box. Okay, so let's take a look at it, shall we? Alright, I've got a feeling this might be a bit tricky to get at, ooh, interesting, okay. Um... Ah, right, okay, so this is going to be a little more tricky than I thought. So let's try and get this out very carefully. In fact, I might have to pause the camera because this is kind of tricky. Yeah, I'm just going to pause for a moment. Okay, so that was quite difficult to get out the box without wrecking the box, so zero points there. And what do we get when we open the box? We get another box! Yes, it, it's supposed to look like a wooden crate, but it's it's not. It's just some sort of heavy-duty cardboard. But it says The Last Guardian on it, and has a rather nice little dent there where something's leaned on it, so yay! Anyway, let's take a look inside. Oh, that, is that sealed down there? Oh! Oh! Okay, so it actually opens like a... Wow! Look at that! Yeah, it, it actually opens like a treasure chest. Now... I'm going to prop something at the back there because I've just noticed that the actual seal here isn't very, very strong so I don't want to risk the lid falling off so let's just grab the outer box and we'll shove that there so we can hopefully keep it upright and hopefully it won't fall to bits. Now I'm going to remove that because that looks like a voucher code for something. Oh yes it is, so yes, that's actually the soundtrack code which I'm going to use all for myself. Anyway, uh, let's take a look what we get. So we've got this sticker sheet. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that was in there. Huh. Oh well, nice little extra, I guess. Stickers. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use those on. Nothing! And, ah, now we get to the art book now. This looks like a really cool art book. It almost looks like a kid's storybook and, oh wow, slight damage down there. <laughs> Um, it feels really strange, yeah, um, it, I can't describe it, but it looks, I, I hope this will, this will show on the camera, it looks really smooth, but it's not, it's, um, it's slightly rough when you rub your hands down it, and it, it feels really strange. It reminds me a lot of one of those, um, old ladybird books that you would get, oops, and there goes the, <laughs> actually that should be okay just like that. Uh, the Art of the Last Guardian. So let's take a look inside it. Be very careful here. And so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six blank pages. Wow. We're off to a banging start, guys. Uh, oh, it's going to be one of the... Oh no, no, we got text! Yay, we have text. Yay. I like art books that have text in them. I think it's so much better when they do. And now we're back to just images. Um, things. Yeah, it's going to be one of these art books, isn't it? Okay, yep. Well, I'm not a huge fan of art books like this, but I suppose since I've been kind of keeping a bit of a media blackout on this game, that... Yeah, all this stuff is new to me, but I suppose if you've been following the game for a while, you might have seen some of this. Although, I've got to say, um, unlike a lot of video game art books, which are just like 
high definition screenshots or concept art which you've seen everywhere. I don't think they've released any of this. This is clearly internal development stuff. So yeah, that's a big plus for them. I mean, there is some stuff which obviously we've sort of seen before, like there's like that render of that crate and uh, barrels there. But a lot of this stuff, yeah, this hasn't been um, released before, so wow, yeah, good on them. And these certainly haven't been released before the storyboards. I should be quite careful, I shouldn't really look through that because that's going to have lots of spoilers. So yeah, um, okay, it's not my favourite art book ever, but yeah, big plus to them for actually including artwork which they haven't been sending out to uh, various places in the media and using to promote the game before. So yeah, good good on you. Good on you there. That's pretty good. And we've got, obviously, the game. So yeah. Oh yeah, is it a seal book? No. No it is not. At least I don't think it is. Oh wait, yes it is. Yes it is. Yay. I thought it was. It's got like a cardboard out sleeve around it and a um, seal book's inside. Actually, yeah, let's open this up. Let's open this up right now because I want to go and play this immediately after this video. So we have The Last Guardian. I like the box art. I, I really like this box art. Um, yeah, um, do I like it more than Echo and Shadow of the Colossus? Um, not sure. Uh, I really do like it, I'm just not, I'm just trying to decide that. It's very minimalist. Very minimalist, yeah. Usually you'd have like a huge description there, but no, very minimalist. I, I kind of like that, it sort of adds to the mystery. Anyway, let's take a look at the actual steelbook itself, if I can... Again, it's very snug, everything's sort of very snug in here, and ooh, interesting. Okay, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but it almost looks slightly 3D here. I, I think it's the type of, uh, how it's printed onto the onto the metal of the steel book, but it, it almost looks like it's coming out out of the packaging. It, it's not, it's not embossed. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, I, I get it, I get it, I get it now. Right, so I'm just gonna open this up over here because if there's any promotional codes in this, I don't want them to, oh yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> yeah, I, I opened it up and there was a promotional code right here. So yeah, I just wanna get that out of the way. Um, there's the disc, because I know some people really like looking at that. I don't know why, because it's just a disc. But uh, yeah, it's got inside artwork, which is nice. I like the fact it's some sort of cat, dog, chicken, monkey thing, which is quite awesome. But uh, what I was trying to get out before was if you turn it around that way, you've got the full image. Yeah, I like that one. That is a that is a nice little... That's a, that's nice. I, I like that. That's a good steel book. I, I like that one. Okay, but now the star main attract. Wow, look at that! Oh, it's broken! Yeah, um, this is the first time I've opened this and that's pretty bad. That's not good. It's broken. Look at the broken. Look at all this broken packaging! Look at it all! Look at the broken packaging! Oh, now I'm worried about my stat. Oh my. Wow, I've just sort of glanced in there and had a look at it. Um, I am probably going to have to pause the video to get it out of there, but I'm just going to sort of peel it closer so you can sort of peek in for just a moment. That is one really, really cool looking statue. Um, I'm going to pause the video right now so I can get him out of the box and just then stroke him. <laughs> now I'm going to get it out of the box there so I can um, just be a bit more safe considering how badly damaged that packaging was. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, so I finally got him out of the um, packaging and yeah, if I sound kind of disappointed, I I'm not, but right, um, how should I describe this? Okay, the actual statue of the creature looks brilliant. It, it really is, it really is brilliant. I do really like it. It does look really high-end. The detail on it is fabulous. Um, and it, yeah, it, it, it is absolutely incredible. It's really, it's really good. It, yeah, um, I know this is gonna sound silly, but it almost seems real. It almost seems like it could be a real creature in a, in a strange way. It's really hard to explain. I think it's the detail on the feathers that sells it. But the base is awful. It really is bad. It 
it feels like cheap um, plastic and you know how sometimes you get statues and or figurines that's like oh it's made of cheap plastic this feels like um this feels like this it you know like this kind of plastic it's not it's a it's a level above that but it's really you know it, it feels really weak and it feels like it could break easily so it, it's really bizarre we've got this awesome looking figure on here which is very well detailed you can tell a lot of the care and attention has gone into it and then the guy who made the base was just like <laughs> base yeah um it's it literally feels like, it, it feels like, you know when you was at school when you was really young and um, there would always be a guy, there would always be a kid who was like really, really good at drawing, like really good. And every time there was ever a, a task or an assignment that you had to do that involved drawing, you know this kid was going to do something absolutely amazing. And you, there would be another kid there who thought he would be good at drawing, but was really, really bad. And yet, it, it, um and when you sort of compared the two together, it was like there was no contest on who is the better draw. Yeah, this is what this is like. Um, the really good kid has made this statue, the, the, actual, the actual creature, and it looks magnificent. It looks fantastic. And then this is what the other kid did. It's, it's not great, I've got to be honest, but I do really like the statue. I mean, look, this is like a little creature. Yeah. Little cat dog monkey chicken thing which is quite adorable and um, there is however one small downside uh, you might have noticed that I've not got the figure there the, I think the figure stands on his head there because there's two small slots there for him to go in and I've not taken him out of the box and I'll show you why so the figure was kept in the box with this um, small flap here and uh, I'll tell you what he's got this rather awesome expression that I really hope is oh man oh man I've, I've seen some stuff you wouldn't believe yeah he has this sort of drugged up um, derpy expression on his face it's like the kind of boy that's seen stuff that no boy should ever see but um what why I've kept him in here is he feels really weak and he's He's in this so tight and snugly, I dare not take him out of it. Uh, well, certainly not for the purpose of this video. Um, oh God, I'm trying to do it now on camera, this is going to go down well. Um, yeah, his, it's his waist. It's wedged in so tightly, I don't know if I could take him out. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! That's the... Ah, right, okay, so you sort of turn him to the side and... Ah, okay. Right, that's the trick. Aha, so let's... Um, and he doesn't fit in it. Wow, that's brilliant. That's just incredible. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Um, yeah, he doesn't fit in it very well. And he sort of stands like that. Hi. Hello. This is my pet. Yeah, um... I, I really do like this statue in the figure, but it, it really is a it really is a case of there's it feels like there's two artists here and they got someone who is really amazing to do the creature, they got someone who is really bad to do the base, and then they picked this up from the local early learning centre. Um the the little figure guy is okay. I mean, you, if it's going to be on a shelf somewhere, you you're not not on your desk, then yeah, it's going to look brilliant. It's going to look fantastic, in fact. But when it's really close up, the figure does look quite poor, and the base is a bit. Meh. But I do really like it. I really like it for the figure. In fact, I, the the actual creature. In fact, I'm sort of tempted just to leave this guy off and just have it like that, so it looks like he's sleeping. But yeah, um, I, I do really, really like it, despite the obvious disappointments and laughable um, construction design that's gone into it. But <laughs> yeah, because this look, this is just, this is just, I don't want to say bad, but it, it, it's like, it feels like, you know, if you're going to a supermarket or like one of those... Um, uh, like discount supermarkets and there'll be like those little figures that you can get in like those plastic bags this feels like it was just plucked from one of them uh, sadly but the creature is wonderful I, I really do like the creature um, the base is meh and oh, I'll show you the bottom of it as well 
the bottom of it is, oh, uh, The Last Guardian. Ah, oh, fuck, I, mean, I was hoping there was going to be a number on it, but no, there isn't. All right, then. So, yeah, uh, let's get everything back here so we can sort of see what you get in this. Um, right. What do I think of it overall? Um, well, obviously, I've not played the game yet, so I can't really comment on, like, but in terms of value for money, like the games alone versus the actual what you get in the box. Maybe the this collector's edition was slightly overpriced considering what you get. I know that, oh, I'm just saying that and I'm instantly disagreeing with myself because no, it was actually, it wasn't because the statue of the creature is brilliant and it clearly is worth the price. And the art book as well, it's, it's a simple art book, you know, it's not one of my favorite designs, but the fact they put actual artwork in there, which obviously wasn't, promoted with the game. Like, for example, if it had just been filled with images of the creature like this, or, you know, stuff like these screenshots, it would be a terrible art book, because we've seen all this, they've used this in promotion. You know the kind of stuff you get. Like, for example, um, if you get an art book from something like the next Call of Duty game, or Battlefield, or, you know, one of those big games that has an elaborate collector's edition, and they say, the art book. And it's one of those, like, ones that opens like that and every page is a screenshot or a high definition drawing that somebody's done which you've seen a thousand times before so yeah that definitely deserves praise for that um yeah and if you're wondering i picked the names of those two games purely because those are the first games that came to mind and because i've had art books from those before and that's exactly what i've had in there anyway uh the sticker sheet was a nice little surprise um i don't think i'm ever going to use it um but yeah, it was a nice little surprise. Um, wasn't expecting it, and it's something nice that extra that they've thrown in there. Um, the steel book's good. I really like the steel book. Uh, the outer cover for the steel book is also really good. Um, the main issue is the base of the statue, which has taken a small bit of shine off it. So I would say it probably is worth the retail price, but probably not much more over that. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'd say I say it is worth it. Yeah, um, it is. It is a decent. It's a really decent statue, but it's like it's sort of undermined by the base and by uh, kid uh, bargain basement here. So yeah, um, I guess that's all I can say on it. If you kind of get, I I am happy with this. I do like it, but yeah, it's the base which kind of knocks it for me. Okay, guys, I guess that's all I've got to say on this now. Uh, thank you so much for watching and comment, rate, subscribe, and hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.